Never before has the Army's Chemical Corps been more prepared or had more technologically advanced equipment. One reason is the latest incarnation of the Stryker platform, the NBC-RV, or the Nuclear Biological Chemical Reconnaissance Vehicle. The new Stryker revolutionizes the way soldiers gather and test specimens for harmful contamination. First of all, Sergeant Dustin Goldston reminds us why the Chemical Corps is still relevant in today's Army. Because you never know. Without us, uh, if it's just infantry, they just know they're getting sick and probably dying a week or so later. With us, uh, we can actually tell you that there's going to be something. Unlike previous vehicles in the chemical arsenal, the NBC RV can protect itself with its remotely operated 50 caliber machine gun. With the remote weapon system, the entire system can be fired from a remote control inside the vehicle. The actual personnel inside aren't exposed to stray bullets or anything like that. The equipment also allows the chemical unit to be proactive with detection as opposed to just waiting for the contaminants to affect soldiers. We have a, a reach of 500 meters with that system. If there's something, a, a cloud that's coming, we can let people know before it ever hits. But how will the NBC RV perform on the battlefield? I mean, this vehicle is highly tactical. It's a highly uh, mobile and it's, it's built to do exactly what it's supposed to do, which is detect chemical and biological agents. Reporting from Fort Hood, Texas, I'm Army Staff Sergeant Brian McGovern.